Hello, my name is Delisa Garcia and I'm going to show you today how to create surfaces manually. So here we have Imaris and the first thing we need to do is to create a surface. Now, rather than to follow the creation wizard of surfaces, we will skip the automatic creation and edit manually. As we can see here at the bottom, we have a slice position. So this slice can be moved to any position we want. This is an orthogonal slicer. And now what we must do is to turn the volume off. Because in this way, we will be able to see the signal of our image proje projected in a single plane. In the board tab, I can change the orientation of the orthogonal slicer to any position I want. In the mode tab, I will find different drawing modes. So, for example, we can use the time drawing mode and that means that at every specific timing, in this case 300 milliseconds, we can change it to 200 milliseconds, for example, a vertex will be added automatically. So, let me turn off the green channel as I will be drawing on top of the red channel. To start drawing, it's very important to have the pointer in the select mode. Now my pointer is uh, narrow and to start drawing we have to click the drawing option or the drawing button here. So now my pointer is across. With a single click a vertex is added and now I just need to move my mouse around the image in order to draw a contour like so and do a final click in order to join the two points at the end of your contour. Now we can move to a different plane and we can use for example the isoline drawing mode. The isoline drawing mode will detect points of same intensity values. So, just with a single click, a contour will be drawn. And so on, you can start moving to different planes. And draw multiple slicers, multiple contours. If these contours are on our way, in the board tab, we can choose visibility none, and this will temporarily hide the previous drawn contours. So now, I'm in the select mode, and I click drawing to start drawing again. And for example, I can choose the drawing mode circle. The drawing mode circle draws a circle around our structure. So with the wheel of the mouse we can choose the diameter of the circle and we can click left button of the mouse in order to um, draw the circle. Again, we can move to a different plane. 20, slice 20, we already draw a structure. We can go to plane 22 here. And again, perhaps use the distance mode. The distance mode, here we have the spacing between the different vertices. So in order to have higher resolution, I can enter a smaller distance, for example, one micron. And again, just with one single click, 
I can start drawing my random shape contour for that specific plane. And finally, I click in order to join the beginning and the end vertices. Once we have drawn several contours in our data set, so if I go to board and the visibility, I choose all, now we can see all the contours that we've been drawing. Now we can click in the option Create Surface. This will create a surface between the vertices, between the contours that we have previously drawn. And we can click in the surface so we can see the final result. And this is how we will draw a random shape surface. Thank you for listening.